slightly going to go for like an F, uh, an F air or possibly a dash attack depending on how late that. Oh, okay, back at the stage, still hot like the uh, neutral air hit. Yeah, so. That's really good, good job good for uh, recovery just because uh, you don't see the shadow when they're coming back up, so it's something you got to be aware of all the time. It looks like so far, it looks like Cranky's really going for these uh, early percent combo grabs that you see Tim Luigi typically do. Instead, going for the jab, goes for a tech chase, not able to find anything though off that. Okay. The, yeah, gets the uh, the back air, but oh yes, yeah, kind of low. Should be able to make it back. Look at looks like he shot a two frame that recovery with the um, or with the down smash. Was a little off the mark. Yet again, he's got to watch out for the way he shadow sneaking back in. If you miss that, I mean that move is super laggy. So, all right, a very strong back air. That's going to be cranky taking the first stock, despite a very slow beginning that he was able to get and trying to get that grab there, but I haven't quite find it. Yeah, it looked like he was possibly trying to go for a, a double air drag down and land on that platform, but um, with, with, the amount, yeah, but with the amount of percent that he already had, double air drag downs are actually like super hard, or pretty much not even guaranteed after a certain amount of uh, percent because the uh, dash attack pops up too high. Uh, but then at, the, at that point in time, you can try to go for up tilt or probably down, uh, you know, up tilt uh, drag down, or you can go for down tilt forward air or down tilt uh, up smash. So, oh. Yeah. Okay, back uh, on stage. Yeah, no spike or anything. Oh, big opportunity after that fair, but doesn't quite follow up with anything else. I think that dash attack, very easy up air complication to get off that. Watch yourself. You gotta get back to the stage. Ends up doing that. Oh, okay. Been a little bit, uh, a little hard right there on that down smash, but honestly, he did the standard get up, so if he would have held it a little longer, he actually could have tried to time that to uh, punish that recovery. Yeah, usually okay. when I see people charging to get up attack, or he's usually charging to like a smash attack, they'll let him get up attack. This is intangible to the whole way through. Yeah, so yeah. You should be able to get around it, but still gonna be doing just fine. Tech check situation. Jab block into the up B. That's gonna take out the stock very nicely. I like that. Homeboy popped off in the little cam uh, player camp too. He was like, yeah, that's me. <laughs> I do though. Uh oh. See when he gets off this grab. Oh, good damage right there. Good 44%. Now chasing him off stage with the 57 now. Oh, no. Okay, yeah. Yeah, the Shadow Sneak was way too low. I mean, it, as I said, there's a lot of lag on the Shadow Sneak. So after you do it, you're off stage. You pretty much drop down like a rock. And uh, even though he did have the chance to up B, he was way too far away from stage. Yeah. I mean, it is 10 a.m. It looked like during that first stock, Craig needed a little time to, like, wake up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, he was kind of misspacing. He was not quite in the right zone for it. And then all of a second on that second stock, he just got that crazy... Um, read and tech chase situation and then after that he got like a big 50% combo cost him the SD and yeah that was a two stock for him yeah, he did mad damage to him yeah as I said the, that last stock when he finally got that grab so you know he was looking you could kind of tell that he was looking for those grabs uh, during the second stock that he just wanted an early percent grab wasn't getting it though so he just played an honest game with that uh yeah the, the third stock he definitely found that grab and made it work for him yeah Alrighty, here we go. We're going to a much smaller stage this time, Smashville. A little bit less room for both of these two to run around, actually. That can mean Ninja can burst in really quickly, but that also means the grab range from Luigi is going to work out very nicely, too, because it covers more of the stage itself. Yeah. Alright. So, Ninja starting off the assault pretty nice this time around. Still looking for that down smash. Uh, well, that was a little bit of a bait right there, actually. But, yeah. Oh, okay, nice tech. Yeah, we got the text. Nice. Still trying to get back from the ledge, though. Ren is still getting caught up. Every time he tries to go for some kind of option to call him out, he just gets clipped easy from, from like the spacing or just not quite finding his mark. Wow, I didn't know that down tilt came out so quick. Oh, okay, so yeah, luckily for him, that da uh, the jab lock actually pushed him off of the stage. That was about to be another ended stock in the same way we saw that uh, second stock uh, end of the first game. Here we go. Down throw. A little, what, a little bit too high up right there. Yeah, one for the there. I think that might have been like just all of a sudden, oh, I got to grab. I just go for what I know best, but uh, that's yeah. why he could have gone for like Cyclone or something like that. Not quite going to get this time around, but he'll probably remember for the next time he gets a grab. Okay. And he's going all over the place, the back throw. Yep, just getting back off stage. Yeah, see, that's what I'm, that's what I'm kind of expecting him to do after a while. Uh, Sire, Sire's definitely been throwing out uh, a, light, a lot of these uh, uh, Shadow Sneaks to get back on the stage. And as I said, man, once you, once you block it or if you just spot dodge it, that's not a super punishable. That's why you got that clean down smash for the KO. But now, got him off stage. Air dodge is through. Just gets a four tilt. Oh, that time he was trying to get ready for him getting an aggressive option. He actually was able to get it correctly. Oh, no jump, but it's not gonna get, get anything off that. Just like a quick hydro pump goes around him. Oh, all right, back into it. Gets him on the other side with that four there. Oh, no. Yeah, a little off the mark. I like the idea of the, uh, going for the counter. You know, he has been throwing out quite a few hits, but fortunately for him, that counter does stall you in the air, so sometimes uh, that that is a messing up the timing and the spacing of uh, you actually getting the hit. So, good up smash, though. Go ahead and take that stock. And now, for the first time, he's got uh, the Greninja's got the lead. 
see how Cranky tries to close off this stock. He's go for a falling up air. Now he's got the control. He's trying to go for that Cyclone, chasing him. Oh, and that up tilt could have been something, but he still continues on with the Cyclone. Catches him, trying to get back high from the stage. Yeah, that was, uh, that, was, that was definitely like a missed opportunity turned into a great opportunity. Uh, with him landing on that stage, that was like an easy up smash, but the up tilt to Tornado worked out just as well. Looking for these grabs, but yeah, I mean, I, at this, I feel like at this percent, unless you really get a uh, attack cancel raw, like whatever he's gonna get off that grab is not gonna be a lot. Like Greninja doesn't really get crazy combos until about mid percent off uh, grabs anyway, and most of it is just uh, oh, starts to jump. Okay, most of it is just attack cancel back air. So that was a big opportunity. He still got 58 percent off of that grab, and he even got the was it the two frame on that down tilt. Potentially could have ended his life there. Not quite. The tech gonna come in just nicely. Got oh, but the hydro pump. <laughs> Him coming back to the stage also worked double as an edge guard, so that works out fine for the red. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think if um, if uh, the well Cranky is gonna continue to like, you know, have to wall jump after his tech, then he might wanna start side being just to get back to the stage instead of like trying to drift back and up being. Uh yeah. Luigi not having that great aerial momentum, you know, that, that drift isn't really getting you that uh, that close. And then yeah, you really gotta watch out for Greninja's uh, hydro pump as well. Seeing that his recovery goes literally straight up, like he gets pushed up anyway and he's gone. Alrighty, just going over their bands right now. It looks like, of course, uh, in California we do have a somewhat. It's a very it's small compared to most of the other tournaments that I've seen. We got five starters. We got Stadium Two, Smashville, Town and City, FD, and uh, Smashville. Uh huh. And then uh, we have that counter picks as Yoshi's Island and Kalos. So, I mean. It's definitely not bad to me. I don't, I, I don't think that we need to have like a million stages on if some of them are, are repetitive. So seems like a pretty solid stage list, in my opinion. Let's get right here into this uh, Pokemon Stadium 2, though. Tech chase again. Not able to get that dash attack. But it's not quite as much end lag on it anymore. So he's able to still get that tech chase and get that risk without having to risk too much off of it. Yeah. Sire kind of just throwing out moves right now. Like a lot of whiffs coming out. Honestly, no real like rhyme or reason behind uh, a lot of the uh, options that I feel like he's picking right now. Like a lot of these. F smashes these four airs that he's throwing in Tower too high. I, I guess he's expecting Cranky to jump, but Cranky's not really leaving the ground right now. Unless he's like, unless he needs to, great back air to go ahead and finish that stock. And only 58%. I mean, I feel like that was almost like collateral damage or like trade damage at that point in time. So, scoop. Uh oh. Uh, Down air. combo going. Ooh. Oh, went for the jab that time around. But he's going to go for falling up air. It's not going to follow up with anything else. But still, very decent sized lead for Cranky coming up just from the way that these two have been playing. Usually it's uh, like the high percent, then they get like a straight hit that gets the kill. Yeah. Very nice stuff so far. He's doing really good at two framing that hydro bump. Yeah, like, at least the first time, you know, he always forces it back off and then try to go for the down smash. So once I see that down smash hit, that's when you know these F smashes are flying. Finally, uh, connecting one right here. Let's see what he does for the edge guard. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Really hard for you to recover against Greninja when you got a recovery like that. So again, I mean, he keeps getting the wall jump though. So as I was uh, pointing out earlier, if he wall jumps into the side B, he should be able to at least land on stage and keep himself alive right like that. Good back air yet again, though, taking that uh, second stop. Yeah, he's being really good at intercepting Cyrannus during the air to air. And usually, Luigi's aerials are pretty strong, pretty fat, too, so able to intercept a character like Greninja very easily. All right, cool. Another big combo. Doesn't get the, the downward hit off the down air, but still gets a decent amount of damage, and he's still going in trying to get that extra damage. Yeah, it was a, while, a little wild on the falling up air, but it hit. You know what I'm if it connects, it connects. Oh, okay, this time actually trying to use the side B to get back to the stage. Surprised that uh, down smash didn't, it didn't hit him, uh, hit yeah. his head. Yeah, that looked really weird. That's not sure what happened there. Ooh, went really aggressive on the ledge option. Didn't even wait for him to roll back to the stage. Edge guard situation, very scary. Both these players. Oh, yeah. Bad aerial trip. To, can't get to get called out easily with that F smash. Sires. Uh, you know, at least keeping himself alive in this game, but... It is getting a little dire for Sire, so. <laughs> okay, gets the back air. All right. Oh, Shadow Sneak, Hydro Pump. Oh, he went too low yeah. off of that. I, I think he, I don't know what he did down there. I feel like he hit another button uh, before he, because he definitely should have been able to uh, recover, you know, early. So I think he might actually hit another button down there. I just wasn't looking, expecting him to recover already, and then he was way too low. So unfortunate for him, but that Luigi, uh, a.k.a. Cranky, will be moving on. You know? Craig is shaking his head. He's like, ah, oh, man, I, I didn't want to win like that. But you know what? A win's a win. He's going to be moving on in the bracket. So congrats Damn to him. It. Take what you can get. Exactly. Take what you can get. So. Yeah. That was our, was our first game. That whoever won, The person who won that will be playing up against Sexy Beast 420. Okay. Not, possibly not on stream, but that's, that's just who they got to <laughs> play next. So 
Uh, I, yeah. I, 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 bet you, I bet you that Sexy Beast 420 is dying to be on stream. That way we just have to keep saying his name. <laughs> yeah. Sexy Beast 420. That's, yeah. That's, uh... I, I, my guy can't be older than 15. Anyway, no, I'm, I, I don't know. Who knows? Anyway, welcome welcome uh, back, guys. It is Prime Saga, and we are popping off yet again, waiting for our next match to come up. Uh, again, there's two streams, though. So we're, we're on BTS Smash, right? That's where yes, we're at. Yes, we are. And then uh, they have the 2G, 2G Gaming stream as well. So if you want to watch all the action, catch it all. Uh, then, yeah, definitely keep keep that multi-switch popping. I'm hoping to see a lot more. I'm hoping to see a lot of, uh, you know, Metroid gameplay here. Uh, but more particularly, I'm hoping to see a lot of, like, actual Samus. I feel like... That character, um, well, not no, well, like Samus and Dark Samus. I feel like I haven't seen a lot of them uh, as of yet. Uh, you know, I, mean, and, and I feel like I don't really see a lot of like ZSS either. But you have Mars, and Mars yeah. is really nice. So like, even if I don't see a lot, I see the one that matters basically. Uh, Nairo said he's kind of looking back into ZSS too, but still hasn't like fully been feeling it yet. But that'd be cool to see him back on the ZSS as well. And then of course Ridley. Um, well, we got a, quite a bit of Ridley representation, yeah. so. Pretty yeah. much all of the Ryu players, for some reason, are playing Ridley now in this yeah. game. They got, like, Lokas, Lavenum, and um, Trela. Trela, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Character. Uh, in terms of the Samus and Dark Samuses, the two big ones that you guys should be looking out for, I believe, are YB and Quick. Quick, of course, uh, one of the main EU representatives right now. Uh, okay. Number one in Germany, I believe, and he's a very solid Samus. Been playing since Brawl. Very solid resume and uh, competitor overall. And then uh, YB, best Dark Samus in Japan. And All right. you know you know how Japan is. Some They just come in here and no one knows how to fight against them. And they're like, what's going on? And then they're in winter semis for some reason. So what I about, wouldn't um, be surprised. What about uh, Johnny Westside? Does he still play? He plays Snake now. Oh. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> well. Oh, well, yeah. like I, I think statistically, if you look at it, probably like I, I want to say like 60% of brawl vets play Snake right now. Yeah, <laughs> just yeah. because they miss them so much. But yeah. Yeah, I was just saying, man. Honestly, when Snake came back, I'm sure they got a lot of people with their mains back. I mean, look, you know, you're looking at MVD and stuff. I'm sure if Snake didn't come back, he would have found a way to make another character work. But once he saw Snake was back, I mean, that was that was a pride and joy. So mm -hmm. long time, uh, long time uh, spent on that Snake. So yeah. I don't know what is he looking for a headset. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. So right, this yeah, is so. Uh, this is Jedi and Sir Potato Nine. <laughs> I'll, I'll just call him Potato, I guess. But yeah. All right. Jedi, uh, the one on the, the one closer to us. Closer to us. Uh, okay. He's one of the the best Nesses in uh, SoCal. I don't know off the top of my head like his reasonable wins or anything like that, but uh, he always tops within like top twenty. He plays top these. 16 he plays like Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Uh, that's another one of those characters I feel like. I mean, that's got that representation, sure. Um, but for the most part, uh, Ness uh, always suffers the same thing over and over. It's like Ness is really good at the beginning of games, and it just slowly like slides down to tier list as more people are learning uh, how to play against them. Haven't really seen that happen with Ness yet, but you know we got time. It's only been four months, four yeah. or five months ish. Mm -hmm. So he still has the same like weaknesses. You know he's still got some uh, range issues, and like the recovery, of course, is always so bad. But I think in general, the, just the way he plays in neutral and when he's got the advantage state. He's able to push that really farther than he was able to in. Yeah, uh, I mean, he's got he's got movement now with uh, you know he's got movement now with like basically having that pseudo shine with his uh his side magnet, and then uh also his PK fire seems to be way more annoying in this game uh than in any other in previous iterations, and um uh, and I feel like just all of his arrows have like better hitboxes. So oh and then that's not even to talk about the fact that his yo-yo is like the best edge guarding tool of all time now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, just once you're off stage, man, you're gonna. They throw that over the edge, like it's probably curtains for you, so. Mm -hmm. Alright, so potato. potato. Yeah. Playing one of the difficult matchups for Ness. So we'll have to see how this goes down. Definitely a difficult matchup, but definitely uh, a very known I, I well not known, but a very like uh, kinda like textbook character. You know what I'm saying? Lucina doesn't bring anything crazy to the table, she's just really solid, really fundamental. So as long as your fundamentals are up there, uh, you know, you should be able to take this game, especially when the matchup is in your favor, so but checking right now. I mean, that's always important. You gotta make sure that no one messed up your controls or anything like that if it's in the setup or anything yeah. stuff like that. I'd say they're just about ready to go, though. Alright, popping off over here for the boy on the, on the uh, 2GG stream, so. Not sure yeah. what's actually going on with 2GG stream <laughs> too either, but both the commentators are standing up actually watching the, uh, the gameplay from, like, behind the people. So I, I guess maybe the monitor went down or something, but hey, man, <laughs> the show must go on. Yeah. All right, here we go. Now we're going to get our match started underway. We're starting on Pokemon Team, too, so let's see how this goes down. Three. 
All right. So let's see what uh, Jedi brings to the table here in our 